Hey everybody, I had a question recently about transposing what you're doing in the step sequencer live uh, in real time. So that's what I thought I'm gonna make a video about today. This uh, technique is really simple. It's uh, relatively elegant. There are a couple things which are a little bit uh, annoying with it, but overall I think it's a great way to go. So first and foremost, I've got a piano track here and I've got a step sequencer region and I don't know how much you've done with this in terms of uh, using some of the pre-programmed patterns, but underneath this little section right here, you have a bunch of like patterns you can use. And we have melodic patterns and uh, not like endless, but certainly a few of these. And I think that they work really well. So I'm gonna push play. So a really cool piano part. They have it in different styles. And, and so all I wanna be able to do is transpose this, which is like this. You'll notice none of, the, none of the notes are changing. It's just changing on the output. Well, the way that this works is things that are in the main window in the, the sequencer, they go from here into the channel strip. And so all of those notes are going into whatever MIDI effects I have, the audio, uh, well, then it's sent into the instrument and the instrument's audio then comes out and goes through all the audio effects. So it's just like a top down on our channel strip. Well, that means that anything's out that's out here, like in the step sequencer, can be altered in the MIDI effects. In this case, we have a transposer MIDI effect uh, and you can change it however you want. Uh, you can also do this with a key and the type of scale. Uh, in fact, you can have a change to a certain scale and then transpose or do a transposition and then scale. In this case, that's not something we're really working with, uh, but I wanna be able to move this. And so the easiest way to add some sort of control to this would be use a modifier. And in the modifier MIDI effect, uh, I have the input set to the modulation wheel. So then anytime I move my mod wheel, um, well, I had to assign it by learning the plugin parameter and then I just moved this. So then my mod wheel is attached to my transposition. And it starts at 200, which is really extreme. So you can move it down to 100% and then it's nice and smooth from top to bottom of the mod wheel. So then I push play. And you can modulate it however you want. If you want that to be more permanent, you can always come in and add some automation for this. So transposer, we'll do the transposition here, and then we can draw this in and it'll do a similar thing. Now you can't, in this particular case, use the right uh, automation. There's something about uh, because we're using the modifier to make this into transpose data that that's not actually written in the automation, but you can always draw that in if you want. So a couple of really cool ways to be able to do this. And I think it's a, it's a fun way to transpose whatever you have written. It's a useful tool if you're doing something uh, in a live setting. Uh, it can be an interesting way to create music even in the studio. But I hope you enjoyed this tip and I hope that uh, you keep on coming back for more videos.